So let's be honest, who doesn't absolutely love a Bigsby? On the right guitar, it just complements it with this incredible vintage vibe. And of course, if you've ever used a Bigsby, one of the smoothest and easiest floating trim systems out there. However, sometimes this comes at a price, especially on more you know, entry level or mid level guitars, it can be the cause of a ton of tuning issues. So we're gonna to try to solve that today. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day today. In this video, we are working with this Gretsch Electromatic. So this is sort of Gretsch's entry level line. Uh, this particular one is the ProJet Candy Apple Red with the gold hardware. I think it's absolutely beautiful. However, when you're you know dealing with sort of mid-range or lower mid-range guitars, you tend not to end up with the highest quality hardware in terms of tuning machines, nut material, and bridge. Now, you slap a Bigsby on a guitar like that, and you're asking for tuning issues. Now, a few months back, I demoed the Guitar Nut Buster, a really interesting piece of hardware that locks your strings together, but it locks them behind the nut and forces all the strings to move through the nut as a unit. And the concept here is, you know, if you use your tram or you do a big bend, and say your third string or your second string hangs up in the nut and the rest of the strings don't, you're going to be out of tune. And the nut buster forces them as i said to move through as a unit so if one string gets hung up the rest of the strings will pull it through and keep you in tune so that's the concept behind the nut buster and we're going to have a bit of a challenge for it today with this bigsby now if i haven't already mentioned it the bigsby is probably my all-time favorite trim system just such a smooth and unique feeling and of course it's a floating system so you can bend it up and down. Now the force of the strings moving that way is counteracted by this single spring and that's part of the problem because as I mentioned it's very imprecise. So if you bend it up too high you'll see the bottom of that spring starts to move out of its little housing there and if you bend way up it becomes totally loose. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that but anyway it just kind of hops around and you can actually pull it right out but we're gonna try to not do that. Uh, so yeah, anyway, if you bend up too much, you see the base of that spring just pop up and then there's no guarantee it's going to be seated exactly in the same way or the same spot as it was before. And of course, that's like instant tuning nightmare. So that's the first thing to note about the Bigsby. There is one more problem. Now, just like strings get caught up with the nut, it also gets caught up on the bridge. And again, this is sort of an issue with more lower end or entry level guitars. But if you watch this very, very closely, I'm gonna bend down on the trim, try to keep the guitar steady for you guys. And if you watch really close, you can see that bridge slightly tip forward every time I depress the bar. And if I bend up, because of course it's a floating system, the bridge ever so slightly tips back. Hopefully the camera will be showing that. And that means the strings are not moving through the saddles at all they're hanging up on those saddles. And on an inexpensive guitar, you don't get a roller saddle, you don't get graph tech saddles or anything like that. And so that's another huge cause of, you know, tuning issues on these guitars. So that's the issue. Let's see if we can lock down that nut buster and see if it helps. So I guess it's a pretty big ask, but we're gonna lock down the strings with the guitar nut buster and hopefully like I said before, it'll keep everything moving together as a unit and hopefully drag the strings back and forth uh, to keep this baby in tune. Now, the only mod I had to do was removing two screws from the truss rod cover because it's a different system than the Strat, obviously, which I had it on previously. Um, yeah, just had to pull those out and then you can slide the guitar nut buster right up close to the nut. And of course, then it hides those screw holes so it just looks normal. Now. Once you have the guitar in tune, you just take the Allen key, which is always held on with magnets, which is really nice, so there's no risk of losing that. And you just basically lock down your sets of strings like that. Now, if you need any other you know, fine tuning and stuff, um, because the strings are locked, you no longer use your tuning keys. You would make your tuning adjustments via these fine tuners. And after having it on the Strat, I've gotta say, once you're used to it, it works really well. They're, you know, very fine, so you can get just the right amount 
you know, of tuning adjustment if you need to. All right, so let's plug this thing in and try a few things that this guitar would normally not handle well at all. And of course, the guitar nut buster is designed, you know, to keep your guitar in tune when you're doing like extreme bends, which you can't really do on a Bigsby, but I'm gonna take the bar and just kind of slam it right to the pick guard, um, which is more than I would definitely do on this guitar usually, and maybe just some like giant regular bends, which normally would put this guitar right out of tune. So here we go, let's plug it in and see if we can keep it in tune. Great sounding guitar. So let's do a few, a few uh, licks and different things that normally would put this guitar way out of tune and probably other guitars even without a Bigsby. And that's some big bends. So let's do, um, yeah, let's do like a, a few tone and a half bends. So I'll bend up a tone and then we'll go tone and a half. Not bad, let's use the trem bar. Obviously that's what this is all about. We're trying to see if the dump buster can kind of drag all the weirdness going on <laughs> with the bigs being the bridge and keep this thing in tune. So let's just do some, you know, normal Bigsby-ish kind of things. Now, of course, the charm of the Bigsby is the fact that you can bend up as well. It's a floating system. So let's try doing some kind of up and down bends. That's why the Bigsby is so great. It's just so smooth. So now let's see if we can do a few things that definitely would, you know, not fly <laughs> under normal conditions, especially on this guitar, but in Bigsby's, uh, on Bigsby's in general. So if we kind of bend, and we're just gonna take this and go like right down to the pick guard. <laughs> Not bad, let's try with a chord that really shows off like tuning errors, <laughs> that's the A major. If you wanna know if your guitar is in tune, play an A or a D, uh, it's gonna let you know. So let's try an A. Oops, <laughs> that slipped out of my hand. That's probably gonna be out of tune. Well, not terrible, let's try with a D. Man, that is definitely a thousand times better than what my guitar was. I could not do that even close. So anyway, let's try doing some up bends um, and really try to put this thing out of tune. Um, yeah, let's just play a chord and I'm just gonna bend up, which again, if you have a Bigsby, you know, just doesn't fly. <laughs> Probably doesn't sound very musical, but we are just testing the system, so. And you'll notice I'm not resetting the trim by using it. So it's not in perfect tune, but man, you know, if you have a Bigsby equipped guitar, try doing what I'm doing and just see, you know, how yours handles doing this kind of stuff, because it's pretty. So, like I said, it's not perfectly in tune, but man, it is a huge improvement. And it could just give you the confidence, like, especially if you're gigging with a guitar like this, or just recording some clips, or, or even messing around, and you like to use the Bigsby bar like I certainly do. Um, I think this, uh, the Nut Buster will be staying on this guitar because I think it makes enough of an improvement 
um, that just gives me the confidence, um, you know, to keep playing. So there you guys go. I think the challenge for the guitar nut buster was a little bit more intense on this guitar, just as I mentioned, because of all the things in play when you have a Bigsby equipped guitar, but it's so rewarding to be able to play a Bigsby and have the confidence that, you know, you could just rock out on this thing, use the bar, and you're going to be, you know, pretty close in tune. Now, in terms of, you know, how to use this and sort of giving you guys a long-term update because it has been a few months and I'm trying, you know, when I use out some of these products to come back and use them either in a different way or just update uh, you guys on them. I think uh, one of the main things when you're using this is to tune the guitar flat on all the strings because as you lock these down, it kind of uh, sharpens them a bit. So if you put your guitar perfectly in tune and then lock it down, all your strings will be slightly sharp. So make sure you, you know, just take each string and put it a few cents flat, lock it down, and then use the fine tuners to bring it, you know, perfectly into tune because otherwise it'll all be sharp and you can't lower it. Okay. So that's one thing to note about, uh, yeah, the guitar nut buster. Other than that, I mean, this thing is built amazing. The fine tuners work perfectly. Like you can get them just really precise. So love that. But, you know, as I mentioned, if you're serious about keeping a guitar like this in tune, uh, either upgrading this side to a roller bridge or just putting in even some graph tech saddles, which probably is a lot, uh, you know, less expensive than re replacing the whole bridge, doing something like that in conjunction with this, um, you know, I think will be a good upgrade and I think I'll do that in the future. But as I said, I think this one's going to sit on this guitar. Another advantage that I like is it causes the strings to travel through the nut uh, completely straight, even though it's a three plus three headstock and the strings are kind of splayed to either side. Um, because of this, it keeps them moving straight. So overall, again, like the Strat video, impressed with this little product. Um, of course, I'll link to it in the video description below. You guys can check it out there. Other than that, have yourself a great day and hopefully start to enjoy your Bigsby's.